Now finally, we start with ammonium hydroxide and its tests. Although we concluded that some salts are some salts by doing the sodium hydroxide test, but just to be sure, we can also add ammonium hydroxide test to it. So when you do, uh, you remember calcium hydroxide, which was uh, uh, insoluble, slightly soluble white precipitate. So because it was slightly soluble and white, we said that it is calcium. But ammonium hydroxide guarantees it. The reason is it does not react with it. The calcium nitrate, when it reacts with ammonium hydroxide, it does not react and thereby confirming that it is a calcium ion. So no precipitate of calcium hydroxide is formed. Hence, the reason for it would be the concentration of OH ions is low. See, we had studied in acid-base chemistry that H and OH are merely uh, the uh, formed because of ionization. And that ionization of a weak base is less than the strong base. So NaOH furnishes a lot of OH ions, whereas ammonium hydroxide will furnish very few. So these few OH ions cannot, cannot react with the stronger calcium and hence there is no reaction taking place. So there is no reaction, there will be no demonstration as well. So the demonstration would be very simple, calcium nitrate at the dropper and what you'll see is nothing happening right there. No PPD of calcium hydroxide. Okay, so we'll actually do a reaction where the reaction of ammonium hydroxide also confirms magnesium. See, magnesium was an insoluble white salt, dull white, but there could be other dull white salts. How do we confirm by reacting with ammonium hydroxide? So, ammonium chloride, which is soluble, and magnesium hydroxide, which is insoluble, is formed. Now, this magnesium hydroxide, which is a precipitate, is again dull white. And the solubility of PPD in excess of NH4OH is insoluble. So when it is insoluble in both NaOH and NH4OH, people come to a conclusion that it is obviously magnesium salt. The demonstration would be exactly the same as the demonstration of NaOH because it gave a dull white precipitate and a precipitate which is insoluble. Demonstration where MgCl2, you add dropper, you take NH4OH by the help of a dropper, you'll see that there is. Now, we are talking about ammonium hydroxide and a colored ion. Although we are very sure that the salt which we had in iron was uh, definitely iron because of its color. And uh, all of it was clearly done in NaOH, but the same thing happens when you add ammonium hydroxide to it. So when you add FeSO4 to ammonium hydroxide, you'll find a simple equation where ammonium reacts with sulfate to form ammonium sulfate and Fe reacts with OH to form iron hydroxide. But the molecular formulas are not that simple. NH4OH, OH's valency is 1, so definitely NH4's valency is 1. If Fe reacts with OH, Fe's valency is 2, OH valency is 1, so FeOH twice. And NH4's valency is 1, SO4 valency is 2, NH4 twice, SO4. So that is very, where you need to be careful in this reaction. If you balance this reaction, you'll find you have to multiply NH4OH by 2. The precipitate formed is again FeOH twice. What would be the color of this precipitate? It would be dirty green in color. So by the color, we'll identify that this is iron again, same way as which we did in sodium hydroxide. And even if you add excess of ammonium hydroxide, it is still insoluble. And hence, we conclude iron. Thank you. See you in the next module.